Alright, what's up guys? I'm Cardmaster Musa. I am Cardmaster Spurts. And it looks like today we're getting Pelham versus Squigs. He? Uh, Squigs wishes his opponent good luck before they begin. What a fool. Like, tell him going first, he sets one. And Squigs does the same. Give it to that. Like, we're uh, having a slow start. Squigs points it out in the chat. That's one. Does the same. Interesting. That's about the kind of the, what you would expect from a, a, a duel like this. Like, he can target one FA monster he controls. Uh, oh, oh, is he, that his. Uh, oh, he's searching field spell. I see, I see. I, okay, so that's his engine. If it's normal summon, you can add one field spell. So, yeah, so he needs the three field spells, I believe, to banish them. Uh, and he, you know, he has some other conditions, which we will see when, when they arise. Like, tell him doesn't... Oh, well. Ask him restrict. Interesting. Okay. Interesting. That's gonna shake things up a bit. Yes, Squigs <laughs> points it out that that <laughs> does throw a wrench in his schemes. Let's see. So, the, these guys, they gain attack equal to their levels. Um, like, he's gonna get that Halkifibrax. So that's how he bypasses the not being able to tribute, mm -hmm. just links. Which, I mean, smart, smart. I'm, I'm sure he also has some back row destruction that he'll he'll use if if he does. And I get another field. Or did he, did he special summon that? I see, I see. So I believe these counters represent the level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's the I mean, the increase in level. So this would be level 8, and this would be level eight. His first field spell out, uh, when it's destroyed by battle, he can discard one of his opponent's cards, and if if this card is destroyed, he can add one FA card from his deck to his hand. Interesting. Mm, so that's exactly what he's doing. Yep, 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 and get another one of the fields. So I'm, I'm pretty sure he, which, yep, so he's got this other one now. He wants, I think, all, all three of the different types in his graveyard, so he's just trying to cycle them through. Ah, oh, he gets the pink road. So, it does piercing. If a FA spell or trap is activated, it can increase its level. And when your opponent activates a spell or trap, reduce the level by two and negate and destroy. Wow. That's broken. Insane. So, this is the dual winner card, FA winners. Basically, his monster has to be five levels higher than its original level, and he has to battle and inflict damage to his opponent. And then he banishes the field spell, and he needs to do all, all three of them to, to win. Plays two of them. And also, FA monsters cannot be destroyed by card effects, which is similarly, I'm sure, annoying. I think the two out just adds more redundance. I, I guess it just allows him to you can banish one card from your hand. You can activate the effect of FA winners once per turn. This effect once per turn. Oh, oh, I see. He probably played it to increase. I see. He played it to increase the level, which, I mean, it's a mi minus two, right, to, to negate? That's pretty mm -hmm. insane. So, I mean, that'll, that's a quick effect, so. Not looking too good for Tellum at the moment. This card is destroyed. He can special summon a troop dragon, which I'm not exactly sure if that's gonna be enough <laughs> to stop this. So I think that's a normal summon, right? So he gets another field spell, yep. So once it go through, he gets off-road Grand Prix. Plays it. Pushes them out, city Grand Prix. Opponent cannot target monsters you control with card effects. Oh, okay, monster you can So they wow. can't be, this guy, he has the negate for the spell and trap. Um, piercing, which also helps him do the, FA winner's effect of inflicting damage on when battling a monster, which is also insane. Not looking good. No. He's already got two of them banished, and he only needs three. Tell and was almost on lockdown. I'm assuming Squigs is probably going to win this turn. Like, I don't really see how he doesn't win this turn. Honestly. So he's activating this effect. Um, 
each time it's act an effect is active uh, spell or trap card is activated it increases one target one card on the field reduce it by three and this card level by three and then destroy it that's also insane okay, so you just got rid of the mirror force that was a big well, for him. that's uh that's a rip and that's a game I believe. Okay, that was a pretty pretty swift victory that time. I don't believe Kellum even he probably didn't. Even, which I don't know what his conditions exactly are for his his uh, dual winner, but I'm assuming he probably did not even draw it. But like Squigs is opening up with Whip Crosser, um, so it increases the level by one when an FA spell or trap is played. If this card is level seven or higher, your opponent cannot discard or send cards from their hand to the graveyard to activate a card effect. Interesting. That's actually a, a very interesting effect, actually. Um, I wonder how that's going to affect Tellum specifically. It might not. Do some little damage on him right now. Quick's deck is just the ultimate lockdown. It'll just shut you down no matter what you have. It's like Tellum is not keen to take this damage. <laughs> He's immune. There we go. He takes 600. And then he <laughs> plays the Mask of Restrict again. <laughs> Squeaks. Okay. You saw how the Tell him does nothing. You saw how playing the Mask of Respect turned out for him last game. <laughs> this card, it can make up to two attacks. Oh, interesting. So, I mean, that could also potentially help him with the FA Winner's card. If he, if he doesn't have his cards in, if Tell him doesn't have his cards in defense. Which, I don't know why he wouldn't. <laughs> Carnival, so he's summoning three <laughs> tokens. For the rest of this turn, monsters your opponent controls cannot target monsters first. Huh. Mystic Box, interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Was not expecting that. Oh, and then the Judgment, which is unfortunate. Okay, the double Mystic Box. Really wanted that, uh, really wanted that Sonic Meister gone. Ooh, another Whip Crosser. So, it's, it, I'm getting flashbacks from game one. <laughs> um, Wiggs, I'm assuming, is is waiting for his FA winners. Searching a field. Go ahead and starting that cycle. I he has. No, sorry. No. So he, he's not, he's not got any yet. There's the, the synchro. This, there this card again. is, this card is pretty insane, especially in tandem with his dual winner. Uh, I mean that fa the fact that he can negate a spell or trap and also do do piercing and there's FA winners. But he was probably actually he might have been yeah. waiting for for the synchro. There's the first field and there's the second field. Helms looking dazed and over there. All face up. Oh, that's unfortunate for him in this case. <laughs> so he's gonna get the easy. Which what was the point of that? Oh, but I mean that mirror yep. force is unfortunate. But I don't see why he's not gonna. Negate it with, yeah. yep, decrease two. I mean, that's so good. Okay. Well, I don't, I don't see the, uh, I don't really see, I don't, I don't know if Tellum got unlucky, uh, with his, his dual winner. I'm not too familiar with it. Um, but I mean, it looks like he's going to get another. Or, well, well, maybe it doesn't. It doesn't count because they're. Oh, oh, okay, okay. He's. So he has to be thirteen. Am I counting that right? Two, four, six, seven. He's level seven. They have to be level five or higher, or five levels higher than their original. I see. Yeah. I see, I see. They have to have at least thirteen counters on on this guy, and then I guess it wants to use this one and. So, okay. So, <laughs> looks like he's just waiting for. I guess maybe he was waiting for his other um, FA spell and traps so that he can start increasing those levels. Um, so I'm going in the fence. There's the. Oh, changes battle position. Destroy a card on the field during the main phase. You can banish this card and target one face up card. You can roll, destroy it. And if you do, special summon an FA monster from your deck. Okay. I mean, that definitely helps his position. It's going to give him another level. He's going to destroy his back row. His aerial recharge. <laughs> um, got a lot of summon cards. He used Hippo, what was it? Hippo, Hippo Carnival. And now he's 
Well, this Ooh. got destroyed, but. Looks like that's just all to give him time, but. Yeah. Wiggs has not been giving Tellum any breathe. So he is going to search what I think will be his last field spell here. Three, yep, so he's he's primed to take this victory. He's just got to, I mean, there's the level 13. So that's going to, I believe, be... And there it is. That's two. Yeah. That's one. Which, I wonder, well, there we go. I mean, probably not a... a yeah, that was an interesting one. Which, what did he... Huh. Alright, so we see the creature swap here, which was an interesting play. Oh! Absorbing Jar, so he's gonna... He's gonna clear his own back row with that play. And we're gonna see... There so that's the Jackpot, jackpot, seven. jackpot 7. That's his win condition. Um, when this card is sent... Your a graveyard by an opponent's card effect, banish this card. If three are currently banished and were banished by this effect, you win the duel. That's his first one. Not sure that changes much. I mean, it's good to at least, you know, start start getting the, the win condition in effect, but I just don't, I don't see Tellum being able to come back from this. No, but that right there just put Squig yeah. on his toes to realize that that back could injury. That's true. It does, it does, it does put that thought in his head, which I wonder, without this absorbing jar though, how he's going to activate that effect now knowing, I mean, even if Squigs didn't know beforehand that that was an issue, he definitely knows now. And that just is gonna, I feel like, oh, well, there, there it, is. it is. Um, looks like Squigs took it. Tell him might've got a bit unlucky with his win condition, but I mean, I, overall, I mean, good job, Squigs. We'll see you guys in the next one.